Hello everyone, it's the Wolf here and today I'll be bringing to you guys a short dogfight between the F-16 and the MiG-29. And if you stay all the way until the end, I will show you a maneuver that I do to turn the tables if I find myself with the Bennett on my six. I hope you all enjoy it. If you like the content, make sure to subscribe, comment and like the video to support our aviation community. Okay, I'll play first the dogfight and then I'll make the comments over decisions taken and everything. Alright? Let's get to it. Okay, like I said, I'm just going to make some observations and comments about the certain key moments that shaped this dogfight. I hope you appreciate this beautiful scenery of the Caucasus region as I perform my landing. Eagle Dynamics for sure did a great job on the looks of the DCS. The first key moment was right after the merge, I decided to do a wider turn to have a, the altitude advantage since we were guns only. Second was the moment I thought the MiG was going to pull and climb, and he did completely the opposite. He went below the cloud level, and my mistake was to try to pursue the MiG-29 below the clouds. He patiently waited, and I literally just passed the first cloud level, I immediately got the warning my RWR, showing that the MiG was on my 6. So, the maneuver that I did as an instinct pretty much, was to do something similar to a flat scissors. Since he was on my 6, I tried to make him drain all the energy and overshoot. 
case in which I got very lucky that when he actually shot me, he didn't disintegrate me in the air. So, as said and done, I managed to make him overshoot and by this point I knew that it was going to be a matter of time to the MiG-29 be in my sight. And here at the end, as you can see, I struggle pulling the F-16 kind of left and right to not overshoot and also position my cannon to shoot him down. And that's how I managed to turn the tables of this dogfight and win. Now, if you got to this point and you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel and commenting on my videos. This will help us and the aviation community to grow. Stay dangerous out there and I'll see you next time.